previously in round sailing. We enjoyed some nice anchorages in Martinique and then sailed north to Saint Pierre, which was our last stop on the island. The sail from Saint Pierre in Martinique to Rousseau in Dominica is 30 nautical miles long. We had really good winds and sailed fast towards our next destination, and even sailed past several boats. Run is fast, despite being 30 years old. When we had arrived to Rousseau, we could hear loud music from the streets, and it was the carnival that was going on, and pretty much everyone was there. We even met a local guy, Nick, who is one of our YouTube followers. Together with two other Swedish boats and one German, we went out on a guided tour to the rainforest. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so we're not any big fans of coconut water, but we got to taste some other delicious fruits that our guide Octavius picked for us. Yeah, but I can't pick it in the rock. Yeah, they were very too. Mm. So creamy. We just get more and more stuff. Clothes, grapefruit. We're in the jungle, or as you say, Eden's garden. <laughs> First stop in the rainforest were the Middleham Falls. The falls are part of the Montois Piton National Park, which is a World Heritage Site.
so cool. So we're going to swim in the next one. <laughs> promise? <laughs> yeah, promise. Second stop was Tito Gorge, which is Creole and means small throat hole. The gorge is basically a crack in the mountain and was formed as molten lava cooled and split apart. The water was freezing cold, but we jumped in and swam inside the gorge. In front of the waterfall, the current can get pretty strong, especially if it's been raining. Above the fall, there was a new pool, with whirling white water and another waterfall, even bigger and stronger than the first one. Big mistake, I didn't bring the camera. Towards the end we were really cold, but luckily there was a natural hot spring outside the gorge where we could warm up a bit. The last stop for the day were the Trafalgar Falls. There are two waterfalls and they're sometimes called the mother and the father. It's possible to climb up to the hot springs in the left one when there's not too much water. We'll go for another swim. You must try, try and try, try and try. Are you so We liked the hot spring so much, so we went back on our own with a local bus.
We were prepared for a good bath and had brought the scrubbing sponge and shower gel to this natural spa. The hot springs originates from volcanic activity beneath the island. Hot rocks deep down and magma heats the groundwater to boiling temperatures and pushing it upwards making the water having a temperature of more than 40 degrees Celsius. The water coming out from the spring is mineral rich and contains a lot of iron. That's why the rocks are all orange. Such an incredible place! So beautiful! Yeah, so if you're visiting Dominica, you should uh, definitely take the walk up here and uh, yeah, see the Trafalgar Falls and also climb from the platform up to here and uh, take a bath in the hot springs up here. Fantastic. Oh, it was so amazing. That was the best jacuzzi I've ever been in. Now we're gonna climb back down. It's hope, easier than the way up. Hope we don't fall. <laughs> Thank you.
well. We're out in the rainforest, kind of. Uh, wanted to get a bus to go back to Roseau, to the city. But it might be that it's too late. They have already stopped for the day. So we have to walk. And the sun is going down in about half an hour. And it's six kilometers down to Roseau. So, but it's beautiful to walk here. And now we hear some local souk playing in the background. And behind this uh, bamboo, small bamboo forest, uh, there's uh, a sulfur spring called Wooten Weaven. So there's a kind of smell here of rotten eggs. I think it's so beautiful being out here in the nature. Birds and the light. It smells really bad. Rotten eggs. You see the sulfur smoke coming down there? It's a sulfur spring down there. 